This photo was taken in 1936, during the Berlin Olympics. The photograph shows Owen standing on metal podium in gold position and saluting the American flag. People appearing this photograph include, left to right. Theodore Lewald, Germany, member of the Olympic Organizing Committee. Naoto Taijima, Japan bronze medalist. Jesse Owens, USA, gold medalist. Karl Ludwig Long, Germany, silver medalist. The Germans are doing a Nazi salute. The 1936 Berlin Olympics was supposed to be a triumph for Nazi Germany. A huge sports complex was built. The most modern Olympic village at that time was organized. Berlin was preparing to welcome thousands of guests. Hitler wanted to use the Olympics itself to prove the superiority of the Aryan race. The American Olympic Committee initially wanted to boycott the Games, but then changed their mind. Paradoxically, some African-American athletes spoke out in favor of participating in the Olympics. They believed that participation in an international event was the best way to fight for their rights. One of these athletes was 23-year-old Jesse Owens, a black track and field athlete who specialized in running and long jump. At the 1936 Berlin Olympics, he won four gold medals. At the same time, Owens managed to set a world record in the 4 by 100 meter relay, and it was broken only in 1984. All this, according to some evidence, irritated Hitler, who was present at the stadium and personally congratulated each winner. But even before Owens' successful performances, Olympic Committee President Henri de Bayou Latour asked Hitler to stop congratulating the champions in the stadium, fearing that black Americans might be among the winners. Hitler agreed and stopped inviting athletes to his box for public congratulations. It should be noted that ordinary German spectators in the stands received the black Olympic star very kindly. Subsequently, Owen said that he had never again received such a standing ovation as in Berlin. The stands and athletes from other countries demonstrated sympathy and friendliness. It was in Berlin that Jesse became friends with the German athlete Karl Ludwig Long, nicknamed Lutz. Great hopes were placed on him. His victory was supposed to prove Hitler's belief in the superiority of the Aryan race. But something amazing happened, a true Aryan helped Owens win the long jump. In fact, the leader of the German team, Lutz Long, lost the gold to his competitor. When Jesse Owens screwed up two of his attempts and was terribly worried, Lutz Long came up to him, made a couple of jokes, calmed down his main rival, and offered him very practical advice. After which Owens jumped so that he set a new world record 8 meters 6 centimeters and won his next gold medal and Lutz Long took silver. Moreover, he was the first to congratulate Owens on his victory. Representatives of two different races hugged each other and, chatting cheerfully, went together to the locker room under the stands. They say that this outrageous prank infuriated Adolf Hitler and greatly darkened his sports festival. After a silver performance at the Berlin Olympics, where the U.S. team took second place in the number of medals, after Germany, the white participants of the Games were invited to the White House to be honored. But 18 African-American athletes, including four-time gold champion Jesse Owens, were ignored by the authorities. President Roosevelt pointedly ignored Owens' victories, although he usually sent telegrams to the winners. They refused to hire Owens, and at some point, he was practically left without a livelihood. The outstanding achievements of one of the best athletes of the mid-20th century were almost immediately forgotten. But the Coca-Cola company shared other values, and in the early 1950s invited Jesse Owens to become the face of an advertising campaign. Several posters with Olympic symbols were released, in which the athlete posed with a bottle of the drink. For the 1950s, such a move was a clear protest against racism, and the Coca-Cola Company became one of the first in the United States to decide to invite African Americans for advertising campaigns. Later, in 1972, Coca-Cola sponsored the release of collectible Olympic medals that also featured Owens. Jesse Owens died in 1980, and the Jesse Owens Prize was created in 1981. This award is given annually to the top American track and field athlete. Who was the photographer of this famous photograph? This is Heinrich Hoffmann. He was Adolf Hitler's official photographer, 
as well as a Nazi politician and publisher who was part of Hitler's inner circle. Hoffman's photographs were an important part of Hitler's propaganda campaign aimed at presenting himself and the Nazi party as a significant mass phenomenon. He received royalties for any use of Hitler's image, making him a millionaire during Hitler's reign. After World War II, he was tried and sentenced to ten years in prison for war profiteering.